Ring the dinner bell for Trout, Kokanee, and Landlock Kings with Kel Kellogg's Willow Leaf Dodgers. Available in mini and magnum sizes at fishhuntshoot.com. Get yours today. Fish on. Pro fish eye dodger trailing a worm. Second fish in five minutes. Just flat out working. It's not an easy bite right now. Fish are up on top, feeding on insects, but uh, they are suckers for this worm and blade. Blade draws them in, worm closes the deal. The only thing that I'm having to do is get down a little bit deeper than the fish you see here on the surface. I'm trolling right at 14, 15 feet deep. Um, and those fish that are down deeper, they're willing to go on the worm. Um, I've got another worm out here closer to the surface. Nada, nothing. So that's a good tip. Sometimes when you see fish up on top feeding on insects and you're not able to catch those, if you drop down in the water column 10, 15, 20 feet, fish that are holding deeper, they might not be as active as the fish on the surface but they are willing to go, especially on natural bait or something, you know, moving fairly slow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow, what a beautiful rainbow. Ha, he's going absolutely crazy. Wow, what a fight. <laughs> Right there, it's a carbon copy of that one we caught a few minutes ago. Just a beautiful, healthy fish. Woo! Wow, that was a that was a strike and a half. Wow, that was crazy. Folks, Kel Kellogg here. Um, it's a little breezy, but I think you can hear me okay. And uh, I'm coming to you to discuss something that is extremely serious. Let me hold this up here. What I've got right here, I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. It's a serious business, and you know I'm not serious because I'm already starting to laugh, but this is serious business. This is a slow death hook right here. You can see the bend in the hook. This is the hook that I rely on. A guy here on the channel turned me on to these about a year and a half ago. These are the hooks that I rely on and that I recommend you rely on when you're out trolling worms or gar gulp crawlers for trout. You need these slow death hooks because, as you know, if you watch the channel on a regular basis, it's absolutely critical that your night crawler or your gulp crawler rotates through the water. Will a straight worm catch fish? Yeah, everything will catch fish some of the time, but I can tell you from experience, if your worm is rotating properly, you're gonna catch twice as many trout on it, and uh, you're also gonna pick up the occasional king, you'll even pick up the occasional kokanee. You gotta have a rotating worm. So, I've been struggling in that arena. When I first thread up a worm, it rolls pretty good. If I catch a fish on that worm and I still got it and I try to re-thread it on that slow death hook, I'm not getting any rotation. And uh, it's just kind of been a fussy go with, with, with rolling worms, um, especially when you consider that I'm using a slow death hook, which is, you know, like worm rolling for morons right here. But anyway, I'm struggling. I thought to myself, well, what could be the possible cause for this? And you know, a while ago, I changed from 10 pound test fluoro leader to 12. And I thought, well, maybe the extra strength, stiffness of that line, whatever, is having some effect. And I was thinking of dropping down. So I got a, <clears throat> I got a guy reached out from the channel a few days ago, and he was also having problems. He was having problems rolling uh, gulp crawlers. And we went back and forth. So. I talked to Wes this morning and we're talking about a bunch of different stuff and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna make a make a video about rolling worms. I've been having trouble getting my crawlers to roll and the guy reached out to me and he's been having trouble and Wes is like, I've been having trouble too. Um, he's having trouble with the with the gulp worms. He doesn't do the natural crawler thing, but uh, he's been having problems getting the gulp worms to roll on the slow death hook. And I asked him what his setup was and he said he used an eight pound test leader with the slow death hook with the trolling swivel. 
Um, he said he thought it was that upper section of the gulp worm, the hollow, hollow part, which is about maybe three quarters to an inch long. So he started cutting that back to a quarter inch and he did report that he's having better luck that way. He felt, he described that that hollow section was kind of catching the water, kind of like a, kind of like a windsock and not allowing it to rotate real well. So he said he's been doing better, but it's not, it's not a hundred percent. So I don't have any answers for you. Um, other than to say that there's some experimenting to be done, I'm going to try downsize and I want to make sure that my swivels are turning well. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Um, maybe it's just luck. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the universe or whatever. But it sounds like we're all struggling to roll our gulp, gulp crawlers and the natural crawlers. If you're out fishing, bottom line is put in a little extra effort and make sure that worm is rotating because if it's not, you're catching about half as many fish as you should be catching on that worm. And remember, when you're rolling a worm, you don't want it real tight like a drill bit. You don't want it real sloppy like that. You, you want a nice steady roll with a little kick in it. Think about the blade on a MEP spinner or a rooster tail or something like that. You, you want to kind of replicate that sort of roll. And you can, you know, tweak the worm, how it's sitting on the hook, and get the kind of roll you want. Just a little bit of attention to detail. Get a good solid roll. Make sure it's rolling. Check it every once in a while, especially if you get hit. Pap, pap. And the fish doesn't come back, you don't get them. Reel it in, check the worm, because I can almost guarantee you it's pulled down around the bend of the hook, it stopped rolling, and the fish lost interest, peeled off, and went away. If that worm had kept on rolling, you would have caught that fish. So, anyway, those are my thoughts on worm rolling. A lot of problems going around out there right now. It's just a simple thing, but uh, we are struggling to get them on the hook properly. So it takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of attention to detail. But I thought I would just toss that out there in case you're having, you know, similar issues or worse yet, if you're trolling around with, you know, straight worms or straight gulp crawlers. So anyway, just a little tip. I'm Kel Kellogg. I am signing off. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notify and uh, you will know every time I'm here on YouTube talking about worms or whatever. And uh, if you're looking for some tackle to fish aside of those worms, go on over to the fishhuntshoot.com website and check out my store. Stay healthy, stay happy, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube, guys. I am Kel Kellogg. You have a wonderful day. Developed, tested, and perfected by me, Kel Kellogg. Turbo Flashers. Turbocharge your trout trolling today by going over to fishhuntshoot.com and picking up a set of my Turbo Flashers. You won't regret it. They'll help you catch more and bigger fish. They've done that for me and they'll do that for you.